Hi friends, welcome to our new session. Uh, in the last video, we have discussed about uh, agents and their types of environment, right? So in this video, we are going to discuss about the types of agents. You know, there are mainly five types of agents are there. That is simple reflex agent, model based reflex agent, goal based agent, utility based agent and finally learning agent. First, we will discuss about the symbol reflex agent. What do you mean by the term reflex? Reflex means what? Immediate action. That is here we need what? Spontaneous agents to perform some sudden action. This type of agents acts only upon the current perception. It just ignores the rest of the percept history. That is here no knowledge base is there to store any past uh, history and all that. Okay, so uh, he, this type of agent will be useful uh, when, a, uh, when, when a quick uh, automated response is needed. You know humans, uh, about humans, humans have a uh, very similar reaction to fire. For example, our brain, uh, our brain just pulls away uh, our hand without thinking about any possibility that there may be any danger in your arm. We call this reaction as reflex reaction, right? So this kind of connection we having only one possibility is called as what? Condition action rule. And this condition action rule is implemented by using, using if then clause. Using if then clause, okay? Uh, that is here the utility uh, here the agent function is based is based on the if is constructed is based on the condition action rule that is if then okay so here just you consider the agent uh, agent will be operating in an environment so this here the simple reflex agent will operate only in a fully observable environment so what do you mean by a fully observable environment that is here full in a fully observable environment the agent will possess the complete knowledge about the environment so here the agent percepts from the environment by using its sensors and you know look here the what the world is like now means what the current situation that is the present situation is considered and by using this uh, by using the condition action rule specified, the agent performs the action. And by uh, agent performs the action by using its actuators. And then after that, the actions, uh, you know, the action may change the environment. Like the, likewise, the simple, a uh, simple uh, reflex agent operates. Operates only in a fully observable environment. So consider uh, consider an example of a smart light bulb. Uh, you will set uh, to turn the uh, turn the uh, bulb on 6 p.m. every night. You know the the bulb uh, uh, smart bulb will not recognize how many how days are longer in summer, and uh, the lamp is not needed much later. It just continue to turn on. Uh, it just continue to turn on 6 p.m. every night. Because that is the role it follows. Mainly this the agent function is built on built by using condition action rule. It works only uh, only based on the condition action rule specified. So what is the problem with that? That is uh, they are very you no know, uh, simple reflex agents. They are very simple to work. But it just possesses only what limited intelligence. Uh, suppose, uh, suppose if the environment, uh, suppose the environment may change, environment may change. So we have to change the rule also, right? So that is the main uh, problems with a simple uh, reflex agent. Okay, okay. These are the uh, things about the simple reflex agents. Okay. Next, uh, we will discuss about the model based re uh, reflex agents. Okay. Next is model based reflex agent. Model based reflex agent. It operates in a partially observable environment. Partially observable environment means what? That the agent will not possess the complete knowledge about the environment. 
whereas in simple reflex agent it operates in a fully observable environment okay so here a uh, model model means what it is a knowledge base to store the past perceived history okay so here in this diagram you can see uh, there are mainly three new blocks added here okay to represent the what these three blocks represent the past history block okay past history so here you can see the agent will be operating in a partially observable environment so the agent percepts the uh, percepts from the environment by using its sensors and here the what the world is like now means the current situation okay and the current situation or current state is getting saved into this internal state this is the internal state and this internal state has to keep track of the current percept and also the percept history okay and uh, you know the, uh, the that is here the, you know the arrow is going to the state that is the current percept is getting saved into this internal state okay it just maps the current percept and also the percept history and um, and the um, or the current state is getting stored inside the agent okay which cannot be seen and uh, here the you can see uh, we have to update this internal state too that is updating the state requires the knowledge about how the world is evolving and how the world is evolving and uh, how the agents uh, uh, actions affect the environment okay by considering this uh, two uh, states by considering these two states uh, and based upon this uh, condition action rule specified the agent operates the agent performs the action by using its actuators and back to the environment okay so this uh, here the model based reflex agent it operates in a partially observable environment okay just maintains the percept history okay uh, the best example for this uh, model based uh, agent is uh, waymo waymo it is a driverless car you know uh, that is it is a best example that is it just interacts with the environment by using its sensors and acts upon by uh, it by using its actuators and it uses you know gps to track the location and to predict the upcoming drivers and uh, it is not implemented in india okay this uh, uh, driverless car and uh, if uh, you know if uh, something uh, unexpected is happening or uh, uh, something uh, that uh, isn't visible that isn't directly visible the a model based uh, reflex agent can adapt based upon its prior knowledge it have okay uh, so it just it has a knowledge base to store the past uh, history past percept history and it uh, and uh, if uh, before uh, executing before uh, the agent uh, performs an action the agent will what update the uh, agent will just update the knowledge base okay if any new uh, if any new thing is happening if a new uh, event uh, if a new event is any uh, new event is happening the agent just update the internal state okay so it just uh, consider considering the percept history and the current situation the agent performs an an action okay so the, uh, the this is about the model based reflex agent okay thank you